is um, the the only eventful part. I think is uh, is pointing out one stork's nest. <laughs> it's it's autobahn and, and sort of countryside. Um, it's a bit of a salad basket in this area, so there's lots of fruit and veg and stuff being grown. Uh, once we get outside of uh, of Kel. So we are staying obviously in Germany, we're not crossing over into France. And um, as said, we'll be there in about 50 minutes. Um, please do fasten your seat belts. That is, uh, um, well, there's about uh, a little under 7,000 miles of autobahn in, in Germany. Um, the first autobahn was built in the 30s and then from then they just expanded and grew. Um, the big thing sticking in the left, in the right lane. Excuse me, if you're if you're driving less than or 100 kilometres or less. Um, to get a driving licence in Germany, well, it's not quite as easy as in some countries, and it is fairly expensive. You can expect to pay anything from about 3,000 to 5,000 euros, depending upon um, how good you are in the beginning, because you have to you are obliged to take driving lessons with a driving instructor from a driving school so you can't just learn with a, with a, a family member and then get behind the wheel and take your test you have to take official lessons 20 of them you have to take an exam when you take your um, driving test you're with your instructor plus the test uh, the person who's um, sort of monitoring your test drive and so yeah it can be expensive especially if, especially if you don't pass the first time They did some studies about the autobahns and they said, um, you know, they were talking about, there's always this ongoing talk about should they impose speed limits. Um, all of the big car manufacturers like Porsche and Mercedes and Audi, they of course don't want any speed limits because they know that people like fast cars and if you've got a fast car you want to be able to drive it somewhere. Um, but they did some uh, studies and they found that 67% of all accidents on autobahns are surprisingly, not surprisingly, caused by excess of speed. Um, with your insurance companies, if you're found to have ha caused an accident or had an accident at a high speed, chances are you won't get your payment or, or very little of. So um, that all factors in. We did uh, last, a couple of weeks ago when we were driving to Mercedes, we actually had um, four cars that went past us. We had a Ferrari, a Porsche, a McLaren and uh, was one other, a Ferrari, an Audi, I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was an Audi, a Ferrari, um, uh, a McLaren, and a Porsche, all in bright colours. And they were doing actually it's something like speeding on a circuit. They were driving down about 50 kilometres, and they passed us twice in the time it took us to get to Rashad. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. You might see some interesting driving on the way. Okay, I'll be quiet for a while.